What's up everyone and welcome back to another video. So this is just a real quick sort of update video. I've been wanting to film an update thing for a while but I haven't really got anywhere at home that's like nice or cool to sit and film or whatever. So I figured I was going for a drive, I figured I'd just set the camera, have a bit of a yarn while I'm driving. <coughs> so I think it's, what's it now, a few months, five, coming up five months I think now since we got here. And it's been good getting super settled in but I was hoping to have a few more like sort of car stuff and video stuff sorted by now um, which is a little bit annoying no one's fault but my own but I've been looking at a few workshops and stuff there's one workshop that I've met, I've literally messaged the agents I've rang the agents four times now and never had a call back you had one job to do um, they keep saying they're gonna yeah, yeah we'll get back to you as soon as we can very very well I haven't even meant to look at it I literally told them I could be really keen but don't know. And there's another one, that another little workshop in Birkenhead that I just missed out on. I had the parameters set wrong on my right move thing where all the, the property website. So I didn't see it until like the two days before the auction and it actually sold pre-auction like or the day before I'd seen it. Which I was super gutted about because that was a nice little unit with a little yard and stuff. So that would have been perfect for what I want to do. Um, but it sort of is what it is, doesn't matter. Um, something will pop up but I just thought I'd give you guys a bit of an update on where I'm at with that sort of thing because I was planning on sort of trying to get into a workshop straight away and I have been looking at a couple of cars so I went around the corner from my place on the route that I go for a run there's an E36 coupe there that hasn't moved the whole time so I, a couple of weeks ago now I stopped in there and had a chat and it was an old dude had a bit of a chat and I went back the week after and had a bit of a proper look on it. Super nice old guy and I'm pretty keen. It's only a 316i, but it's like 60,000 miles, immaculate. It seems, I poke my head underneath, it looks rust free underneath. Like he's had it for 20 years, I think he said. Pretty sure it was 20 years and his brother-in-law had it before him. So like, it's sweet. But it would probably be a case of having to convert it, do like a 2.8 or something conversion into it, which it, is a bit off-putting at the moment because I don't have a workshop. Um, so I'm halfway wondering whether to just buy it and set it aside. I can still use it, I suppose. Like, I can get an MOT on it and stuff and use it. That doesn't matter so much. It's just it will be gutless as all fuck. Like, there's only 1.6 litre. But I suppose at least it, you chuck a 100, 100 kilowatt of rain on top of that, weld up the diff, you could probably still have a fair bit of fun in it because it's manual too, obviously. So that's one of the options and there's also a couple of cars down south I really want to get down to have a look at. One of them being an RX-7, but a first gen RX-7. So that would be more of like a tidy up and ship back to New Zealand project I think. But it's like way down Southampton which is like a five hour drive. And it's actually a bit of a pain because we were down there not long ago but I hadn't seen it on Marketplace. Um, super tidy, just 12A receipts for rebuild and everything it's not bridged or anything it's just literally grandma spec it literally just wants wheels and adjusties and just slamming out but that's another option I, I wouldn't mind once I get a bit of a workshop set up is actually set up buy and sell and just do a few cars maybe because I noticed there's a few things over here that are quite cheap maybe ship a couple back to New Zealand and stuff like that just pretty much like make a bit of cash on the side so other than looking at those cars and stuff like I do need a it's obviously the silly season now it's Christmas like sort of hard to get around we're gonna take the camper van out between Christmas and New Year's probably head up to like the Lakes District which is not far from here and it's like pretty much just looks like New Zealand to be honest we're gonna go have a look up there I'll probably jump on marketplace see if there's any gems up those ways I'll try and do a bit of homework beforehand this time so I don't miss out oh, I do actually want to do a bit of a like camper van tour video too that's another video I can do is I do want to do a little update on that because there's a heap of things I want to change on it but it's pretty cool as it is and it's definitely usable like it's a it's a sick van it's like that's one of the things I'm pumped with that we bought straight away and I have no regrets about buying it or putting the money into that or whatever going like the long way home just so I can have the yarn but yeah so I with me actively looking for somewhere I can try and make more content and stuff like that like I do feel 
sort of a bit trapped at the moment, like, oh, I want to make all the stuff, but I've got nowhere to make it. So it's a bit frustrating, but I'll keep you guys in the loop and we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I emailed about 11 real estate agents yesterday and um, just chasing up to see what properties are available and blah, blah, blah. So we'll see if we hear back from any of them. Maybe it's a real estate agent thing over here, I don't know. But I haven't had any luck with communication. I might look at maybe doing a few of these little driving videos soon of just ideas or thoughts or just to get stuff out of my head. I was actually thinking about whether I do like a little mini series every now and then of just call it driving thoughts and especially like car related stuff, whether it's like build ideas or just general content ideas. Just go from there. But yeah, random little one. So just for checking this out. Hopefully we'll have some cool shit happening soon. I know it's dragging out a bit longer than I said, but that's life. Cheers guys, see you in the next one.